Welcome back here on your Thursday. Hopefully you snuck out and enjoyed what was just an amazingly warm day. In fact, record setting warmth in at least a few locations. 43 later on tonight, 36 tomorrow morning. It's not going to be a cold night, but it's also not going to be as warm tomorrow as what we saw today. Clouds will be thickening up during the day tomorrow as changes will be moving in and that cooler air will start to filter in tonight into tomorrow. Really, though, I think Saturday is the one day out of the next seven that's that's going to be a little raw, a little blustery, will very much feel like winter. But next week, while not as warm as what we had yesterday or today, temps still don't look too terribly bad, at least not for December. Okay, looking outside of Burwell with our NTV Vieira Wireless Camera Network, still got some pockets of snow that are refusing to melt off. It is 53 degrees in Burwell right now, south southeast winds at around six. So we're going to take just a moment to talk about what's going on in this map. Because you look out here to the west, it is 62 in Imperial, 61 Broken Bow, 60 in Lexington. And when we get to the high temps for the day today, you'll notice that out west it was incredibly warm. But even east of central Nebraska, eastern areas were warmer. The reason for it was our little wind shift line that came through. It helped keep the winds fairly light right here through the Tri-Cities in the central part of the state. And what that did was it prevented the atmosphere from pulling down the warmer temps and reaching our potential. So even though it was incredibly mild here in the Tri-Cities, we fell short by a good 10 degrees of what was expected because we just couldn't quite reach our potential. Now you look at those winds right along that wind shift line, right out ahead of it, much calmer. And that's what's moving into central and eastern areas. But look out to the west. There are some incredible winds ongoing up in the sand hills. And I mentioned it yesterday that west, northwest areas could get a little windy behind this boundary. They've got gusts of 30, even 40 miles per hour. Now, I don't think tomorrow is going to be that bad, but I do think Saturday has potential to be, you know, wind gusts of 30 to 35 across the region. Other than that, it has just been a gorgeous day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. That cold front is going to continue to work its way through. Cooler air starts to move in. The clouds tomorrow will be thickening up as we go through the day. We cannot rule out maybe a little bit of a rain snow mix towards the evening. And then here comes the next cold front right on the heels of the first one. And that one could help produce some snow showers, especially to the east and northeast on Saturday. But I think it's the fact that it's going to be windy and much colder on Saturday. That'll be the big story for most of us. 36 the low tonight becomes a little breezy overnight and a high tomorrow down to 50, down to 50, uh, but still incredibly mild for this time of year, 28 as we get into tomorrow night and a little bit of a chance of kind of a rain snow mix. Most of us tonight will be in the low to mid 30s. Yeah, for December, that is incredibly mild. Tomorrow it is low 50s, maybe some areas off to the east around 55 degrees. Seven day forecast, again, I think Saturday is just a windy, kind of cold day with maybe a few flakes around. We're back to 50 Monday, 40 Tuesday, but still mid 40s Wednesday, Thursday as overall the mild weather continues. That's a look at your first alert forecast. We'll be right back. Increased risk for kids.